if the mentality remains the same with England, if the players continue to play the way they do, with Jordan Pickford launching 80-odd balls up the pitch, the likes of Kyle Walker and Kieran Trippier doing back passes constantly, yeah, nah, mate, we're not getting Pep Guardiola. Let me just say this. This is a mentality issue. I think... The way England play football is that you have to realise the international managers only get to work with their squads on average about six weeks a year due to, of course, the international breaks only lasting for about one and a half weeks before everyone returns to their clubs. And then, of course, on top of that, the international tournaments mean that once, it, once every two years mean that you only get to work with your players about maybe 11 or 12 weeks a year and yeah you know Gareth Southgate's best work has really mostly come when he's worked in the grassroots he's worked with the academies reforming training exercises reforming selection of players for academies you know, trying to shift the attitude of trying to make players want to have possession of the ball and wanting to be able to control the game with or without the ball, trying to, you know, create players like Cole Palmer, Phil Foden, Drew Bellingham to a certain extent, you know, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and depending on whether he is willing to change his um, allegiances from France to England, Mike Elise, I mean, I would absolutely, like, I know obviously Elise has pledged his allegiance to France, but if the next England manager and the English Asso uh, Football Association can convince Elise to switch to England, if Deschamps continues to leave Elise out of the England squad, although, of course, I know he is going to be playing for the French Olympic team this summer, so I have no idea like whether he can actually switch to England now, but of course he is eligible to play for four nations, of course. He's also eligible for Nigeria and Algeria. But yeah, I think the mentality, the way we train the kids, even at grassroots level, still sort of remains the same. You know, we definitely have the players to be able to win games, but we don't have the managers, we don't have the coaches to be able to harness the talent we have in our teams. And I could sit here and say, oh, let's get Lee Corsi. Oh, let's get, um, I don't know, Graham Potter, Pep Guardiola, Thomas Tuchel, Eddie Howell. I don't know who else, uh, Graham Potter, I don't know who I've said. But unless there's like a mentality shift in the players' brains, unless they sit there and think, you know, instead of passing this board backwards and sideways, and how about, you know, if I get a throw in, I actually throw it in straight into the box. Yeah, that's right, me. I was born and raised in England. Yep. Yeah. I know it might seem funny. I know you're pretty much used to seeing people who look like me speak maybe with an American or Canadian accent or even an Australian accent. But yeah, there are Chinese people who live in Britain. Um, but hello to you, Silent Sniper. I hope you're having a good day. I hope everyone in the chat and watching this video is having a great day. Um, yeah, I can't even have a go. I can't, you know, the way Spain won um, two days ago. Yeah, from up to you. Um, yeah, Spain were the de deserving winners, not only on the night, but throughout the tournament. They destroyed Croatia 3-0. They smashed Georgia 4-1. They were the decisive winners over France and Germany. And, I don't know, all I can say is, like, when I saw a clip of, what was his name, Kyle Walker having a, back, a throw in and then throwing it all the way back 50 yards into our own half, and then, of course, only for Jordan Pickford to launch the ball 80 yards up the pitch around the 75th minute of the game. Yeah, you can just tell there's 